Well, if you could just talk about what you're out here uh, doing tonight. Well, I'm just providing security for uh, Black Lives Matter movement, leaders of Kenosha. Um, you know, I do this for any group out here that wants to protest peacefully. You know, if they call me up and they're on the level and they want to be peaceful, mm -hmm. fine. Okay, I'll come out. I'll protect you. You know, you know, as long as you keep it peaceful, I don't care what you're for or against. <laughs> Just keep it peaceful and I'll keep you safe as I can. Sounds That's like it. you're about the Second Amendment, protecting the First Amendment. Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> That's what the Second Amendment is for, to protect the First. That's my opinion. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Yep. Appreciate it. Don't shiver. It's warm out here. Oh, I'm not shivering. <laughs> I blocked that out a long time ago. Um, it's shoots a five five six round, so this is what I, I'm used to. As a matter of fact, you know, I I didn't get this because it's cool. I got it because it's comfortable. Because that's I used an M16. You know, and boot camp, so that's why I got this because I'm comfortable, I'm used to it. That's all. Can you tell me about your son and what he wants to do? Well, he wants to be like his dad. Uh, my son here, um, he so when he was little, he said he wanted to be a policeman, but then he was like, But that's dangerous, and I don't want to, you know, get hurt and not have to take care of my family. So he goes, But I want to help people. Save people. I'm like, and I told him, he's like, well, you can go CIA, you can go FBI, and you can use your big brain. And he's like, do I get, you know, can I track people and help people and stop people with computers and nobody will know it's me? I was like, yeah, you could do that. He's very shy. <laughs> um, there was somebody walking around with uh, an AR 15 a couple days ago in court, right in front of the courthouse, and it really made everyone nervous and uncomfortable, and it really caused more, I would say, stress and anxiety than not having one. What's your opinion on just the presence of guns being around people? No justice! I feel... Hold on. Okay, go ahead. All right. Um... In that situation, um, to me, walking around with a weapon, it shouldn't. People shouldn't be afraid. You know, it, you can tell people who are responsible gun owners and who aren't, just by the way they handle themselves, by the way they hold themselves and hold that weapon. You can tell who's responsible and trained gun owners. You should never feel uncomfortable around somebody who will make you comfortable by the way they carry themselves. It comes out. I've walked these streets and very off, very, very, very few times have people felt uncomfortable when I'm walking down these streets. They ask me questions. They want to know. I give them information on the laws and their rights. No. People don't feel, shouldn't be feeling uncomfortable. And if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, they won't. It's only the people that have fear and hate. When they see me, that's their problem. If they're uncomfortable with that, they need to check themselves. What was the outcome of the verdict today and how do you feel about it? Oh, the jury came back, not guilty on, char on all charges, and I respect them that they did their job. I feel, me personally, the judge had a lot to do with it and that decision. Like I said, I'm a Second Amendment guy. 
I told my daughter, when I first saw the videos, I was like, you know, self-defense. Everything that I can see from right now when it first came out, oh yeah, that was self-defense. But then I started hearing other real facts, like the fact that he was a minor, not under supervision, after curfew. Okay, those are two crimes. Wisconsin state law says you can't claim self-defense if you're in a commission of a crime. Ironically, the judge threw out those very two things that he was absolutely guilty of. It pissed me off because there are black people in jail and people of color in jail and even some white people that are star second minute, they're in jail for weapons possession. Possession of a weapon. They're in jail. They have felonies. They can never carry a weapon ever again. But the judge threw that out and let him claim self-defense. So on that, I don't blame the jury. I blame the judge. That's biased. If that was me, I guarantee you those charges would never been dropped. And my self-defense claim wouldn't have been allowed. That's my feeling. That's a Thank you, sir. I appreciate it.